Today, the fight for the arms market is in full swing. It's quite obvious that the leading position here is occupied by the United States, which first presented to the world the first of its kind, fifth generation fighter. And then, without wasting time, began to develop the second model of this class. At this point, the only rival to the United States is Russia, which this year presented perhaps the only real competitor to the Lightning II, namely the Su-57. And in this episode, we'll find out if one of the most discussed planes of the 21st century is that good, or is it just a well-thought PR campaign? This is Military News. Keep watching. As we know, Su-75, or Checkmate, is a project of a light tactical fighter, which is being developed by Sukhoi Experimental Design Bureau, which is a part of the state corporation Rostec. We'd like to point out right away that the specimen was designed in a record short time, in just one year. Such a rapid pace is due to the experience of creating a fellow Checkmate, the Su-57, or Felon, as well as the use of computer modeling. The prototype was unveiled this summer at the MAX 2021 International Aviation and Space Show. The creation of the full-scale prototype is scheduled for 2023, while production of the whole series is to begin in 2027. In the future, this aircraft should replace the fourth-generation machines such as the MiG-29 Fulcrum and MiG-35 Fulcrum F, and just as importantly, win the international market. The aircraft has many advantages over its foreign competitors, which include the French Rafale, Swedish JAS Gripen, and of course the already mentioned US, American F-35. But let's talk about everything in order. Regarding the appearance of the fighter, it'll be somewhat smaller than the Felon. The glider's made by the Integral Scheme, something similar to the grandfather of our hero, MiG-21. The medially positioned triangular wing is reminiscent of the Western YF-23, which competed in its time with the Raptor F-22. The aircraft has a V-shaped fin represented in the form of two deflected inclined aerodynamic surfaces acting as a vertical keel and horizontal stabilizer. This detail was also borrowed from the American Project X-32, which was lost in the Lightning II F-35 tender. Of course, our hero has absorbed all the innovative solutions of compatriots, Su-57, so the aircraft has identical drop-shaped lanterns, three-pillar landing gear, and an infrared system of search and track located on the windshield. The Checkmate's design makes extensive use of stealth technology, including, for example, the chopped shape of the air intake. Another advantage of the fighter is its open architecture, which allows the onboard equipment to be installed following customer preferences. By the way, it's worth telling about the equipment of the new aircraft in more detail. All necessary data, including information about targets, armament, situations are displayed on touchscreens on the windshield. The aircraft is equipped with a multifunctional control panel, large format collimator display, optronic sighting system, COEP 75, as well as panoramic aviation indicator. As expected of the fifth-generation aircraft, this model has a radar with an active phased antenna array, though what kind of radar is not known yet. According to the Russian designers, Checkmate Avionics is superior to the equipment of foreign competitors. Another important innovation installed on the Su-75 is the Matryoshka Automated Logistics Support System. This technology makes it possible to plan maintenance with high precision and a timely supply of necessary components. Such a system will reduce the cost of aircraft maintenance and ensure a high level of combat readiness. I'd also like to draw your attention to the fact that the new vehicle should have high capabilities in terms of interaction with unmanned aerial vehicles. It's assumed that Checkmate will be able to simultaneously coordinate the actions of 10 drones. The non-standard solution for the Russian fighter was the use of the single-engine propulsion system with a deflectible thrust vector called Product 30. AL-41F1. The same unit powers the Su-35S and Su-57. Its distinctive feature is plasma ignition, i.e. oxygen-free engine starting capable of operating at very high altitudes. The unit should provide the aircraft with a speed equal to Mach 2, i.e. 2400 kilometers an hour. In addition, the Su-75 will be able to climb to an altitude of 16.5 kilometers, cover a distance of at least 2,800 kilometers, 
and have a combat load of about 7,500 kilograms. Su-75 has a fairly wide range of weapons. This includes unguided rockets, S-8 and S-13, designed for a distance of 1 to 4 kilometers, and a short-range missile class, Air-Air, R-74M, capable of overcoming up to 40 kilometers. Plus, it's a mid-range analog RVV-SD with a range of 110 kilometers. In addition, there are guided missiles, air-ground KH-38, with a range up to 70 kilometers, and a Grom E-1 with a range of up to 120 kilometers. And also, the KH-58 Yushki counter-radar missile, capable of hitting the target at a distance of 70 to 245 kilometers. In addition, the aircraft arsenal includes a variety of bombs, among which are correctable aerial projectiles with laser homing head KAB-250LGE, the drop height of which reaches 10 kilometers, as well as missiles with satellite guidance K-08BE, K-029BE, dropped from a height of 15 kilometers. The list of the Su-75 weapons does not end there, however, because in addition to the shells, there's a 30mm cannon, GSH-301, the rate of fire of which reaches 1,500 rounds per minute. In the end, we'd like to mention perhaps the most important advantage of this aircraft, the price. The declared cost of the Checkmate is $25 to $30 million, which is several times less than the cost of American models. I want to make it clear, foreign customers can buy the F-35 for no less than $120 million. And if you remember the events of 2009, we can be horrified to know that the Egyptian government has bought from the United States 24 F-16CD Block 5052 fighters, which by the way is the fourth generation, each of which cost authorities $133 million. At the same time, the deal did not include armaments, and the radar installed on the planes was considered outdated. The cost per flight hour is also much lower than that of its main rival, Thus, an hour of flight Lightning II is $36,000 to $38,000, while the Su-75 spins from $4,000 to $8,000. About the flight of the F-22 is scary to say, because the price reaches $70,000 per hour. Under such circumstances, the Su-75 has an advantageous position in the international market, but who will the aviation novelties be delivered to? India, Vietnam, Argentina, and African countries can become potential buyers. Russia is planning to deliver about 300 units to these very customers, meeting the 15-year deadline. It should be noted that this figure is quite realistic, but even though the Checkmate prototype was the star of the MAX 21 air show and its characteristics and price are impressive, the future of the plane depends not on potential, but actual buyers. If you like the Russian development, write in the comments below the video. Don't forget to subscribe and to not miss the next video. See you next time.